My name is Holly Hembest and I'm the owner of Wild Beaver Print Shop in Bentonville, Arkansas. And we create damn good stuff. So my name is Charles Hembest. We have the X33. Uh, it's been a great machine for us. We've had it since about August. You know, one thing we really focus on, of course, is small businesses and some startups that come in. So we help, uh, you know, do some signing and brochures and some of that stuff. We also work a lot with nonprofits and uh, events that go on in the community. So we're printing directional signing and banners and, and uh, you know, little coasters and stuff like that that's really kind of fun. And uh, like I said, they're, they're coming in frequently. This is a great time of the year for us for it to starting to kick off, you know, the weather's nice, so people are coming in to get stuff and it's fantastic. Well, we wanted a flatbed printer for a while, but space was always an issue and budget was always an issue and I had no idea that this machine existed until I happened to get an email from sales rep Paul and I looked at it and I said, oh, you guys, talk to my career. Said, this is perfect for us because we were outsourcing so much of our signage and even though the company that we use is pretty fast, we still had to buy a full size board. So we knew we were in for at least 60 or $70 every time we uh, had to order something. But this was the right price point. It was the right size. It was, it just seemed a really good fit for most of what our customers needed, you know, up to 24 by 36 and 18 by 24 signs. Well, some of our regular customers noticed right away. They said that the print quality was so much better than what we had before. So that was really telling because, you know, a lot of people aren't that perceptive, but the difference in quality was, was you know, there and they saw it right away. So we've been really happy with it. And the speed too is great. So if somebody needs boards or something today, not only is it cheaper for us to do it in-house, we can put a rush fee on it. <laughs> yeah, well, we originally got it mainly to do signage and boards, but it ended up being able to do a lot more. When, when customers saw this in our shop, you know, of course they asked what it was, and, and we told them some of the fun things we were doing about it, and so they started asking, well, hey, can you print on baseballs? And we're like, Sure, we can try, you know, if you're willing to be a guinea pig. And, and so, you know, they're having an idea. They see things that we do and then they start running with it and thinking, well, hey, can I bring in shoes or can I bring in whatever? And so our customers are being creative as well with it. And we said, if you're willing to be a guinea pig, we'll run it through the machine and see how it goes. We have had some like traumatic install day experiences before, so I was expecting that with <laughs> this, but it went so smooth. When the crate unloaded, I was like, oh my gosh, how is that getting into my shop? It was huge, but it was really cleverly packed inside and we got it through the door and the Balin, the tech had it installed in what, like what, a couple of hours. I mean, I was shocked and we were up and printing in just a few hours because I was thinking, oh, he's here for two days. It'll be installed all day one and then we start printing the next day. No, we were printing that afternoon. It was crazy, crazy good. So my name is Logan. I'm one of the graphic designers here at Wild Beaver. And one thing that we really were able to start doing was same day signage, particularly foam core presentations. We are right across the street from the Walmart home office and we get people coming in here every day asking for, hey, can you do this sign? Hey, can you do this presentation? And we had to say no until we were able to get this machine and that way we could say, we can have it out here for you in a few hours. It was a great little, uh, great little advantage for a print shop here in town. Um, so IQ is great. It works very similarly to a lot of the other uh, softwares we use. Um, it's a little learning just knowing what each kind of category, what each menu kind of does, but once you get into it, it's really easy to uh, just go through a kind of just a process every time you do a job. When, how, how big, you know, what media, how high, and all that kind of stuff. So once you get into the swing of things, it's pretty instant. IQ has thousands upon thousands of uh, design templates that they use. The one that I used a few weeks after getting this installed was the baseball jig. Got about 75 baseballs you wanted the logo on, so I was here for about a full day setting those baseballs up just at the right angle, and once it came through, it was the exact same every single time. 
I mean, it was almost 100% perfect. In IQ, uh, there's a job cost feature under each print job, and it has helped us greatly for pricing out you know, the, the variety of different print projects we have, from you know, yard signs to major foam core presentations. It's really, it, it opens our eyes to just how much we're saving using this machine. We definitely recommend IQ. It is kind of a bundle of things. Even for people who don't have graphic design software, it has graphic design elements in it. So you can design in it, you can print straight from it. I would recommend it to anybody who's wanting to get started in graphic design and printing. So we have about four designers on our team. Each one has IQ on their computer. So anytime we have these projects come in last minute, anyone can just hop on it one time. It's not one computer that we have to build a queue for. It's just pretty instantaneous. Everybody has access to everybody else's IQ as well. So in case someone's running into problems on their computer, just hop onto mine, knock out the problem real quick. When Balin was here installing uh, RX33 here, he had mentioned that they were working on a braille system, a printing braille using this uh, software, and that blew our minds. And he even told us it's going to come free down the road whenever we get it uh, finalized. So we were looking forward to it and we're really excited to try it out. Uh, so my name is Miguel. Uh, I am one of the graphic designers here. Um, I've been working here for about eight years now. So uh, the inks are fantastic. I love that they're so durable. I mean, they're scratch proof. I've had this on my wallet for about a few months now, and I mean, I use it every day. There's not even a scratch on it. Everyone thinks it's a sticker, but it's printed directly on the leather. Uh, so it's been fantastic. It's waterproof and weatherproof and works great. So, so it, it, changing the ink is super easy. Um, it's just reloading it. It always lets you know when it's running low. Um, uh, the maintenance is really easy as well. Just a little stir every morning and it's good to go. Um, also, the value you get for every drop of ink is fantastic. The prints like these are just pennies. So uh, I print on this. It's like uh, faux leather. It's more like a rubber. Um, and it printed out fantastic. Uh, once we taped it down, it went through two layers of white and all the ink, and the quality is great. Every time I print on anything that's not a standard substrate, the quality is always fantastic. All right, so this is something I actually did today, and it is the album cover of one of my favorite artists, Father John Misty, and I actually printed on the glass here, so I'll take it out of the frame. You can see I have this white backing on it, so it looks the same like that, but as soon as you take that white backing off, it's transparent. It looks pretty, pretty cool. I was really happy with how it turned out. The texture on it as well, it gets that kind of frosted glass appearance. And I'm, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Uh, so yeah, definitely paneling was something I've tried out recently and it had a bit of a learning curve, but once I got into it, I kind of realized it works pretty similarly to design software pretty much. I was able to put together something and it was very easy to see where I needed to place the panels and how uh, those were going to really run out. Um, anytime we've had an issue with it, uh, customer service at Zante has been fantastic, willing to work with us, uh, help somebody like me get through it and figure out what the, what the issues are so we can get back in business. Um, it's great. It's, it really it's a phenomenal machine. You know, if you're looking at an entry level machine, something to get you in the game and not reliant so much on like third party printers, this is an excellent way to do it. It's very easy to use. It fits in a small space. Um, it's, it's very easy and, and user friendly and it's quick and it's fast and the return on investment on it has been really good. In fact, uh, the first month that we had it, it paid for its first lease payment within about a week. We had so many like yard signs come in. I couldn't believe it. I said, oh, we're gonna make some money. <laughs> <laughs>